Hey there and welcome to the Daily Manchester United News show. Let's dive into today's top stories. Man United legend slams Eric Ten Hag's decision to play Casimiro in defense. Former Manchester United star Roy Keane has slammed manager Eric Ten Hag's decision to play Casimiro in defense. The 32-year-old arrived at Old Trafford in a £70 million move after spending almost a decade at Real Madrid. The Brazilian enjoyed an impressive first season in Manchester but has regressed this term. Ten Hag has been playing Casimiro as a centre-back in recent matches but he has struggled in the new role. Speaking on this Tech to Football podcast, Keane slammed the Dutchman's decision to play the former Madrid star in defense. He said, He is the last player you would have played at center half against Palace in his defense. For all his experience, some players have all the experience, but they don't show it at certain times. If you are looking at the whole Manchester United squad, if you are telling one player I wouldn't play center half, against the Crystal Palace, who at home have got something going. They have scored five against West Ham United recently. They beat Newcastle. They even scored two against Manchester City. He is not playing centre half against Palace. Man United will look to offload Casimiro this summer. He has struggled this season, scoring just once in 22 league appearances. The midfielder still has a contract until 2026 worth £350,000 per week. With the transfer budget tight, Man United will be the separate to sell players in the next window. Mason Greenwood and Jaden Sancho are expected to bring in decent fees, while Anthony and Marcus Rashford could be sold in an extensive summer rebuild. Eric Ten Hag confirms a triple Man United injury boost versus Arsenal. Mason Mount ruled out. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag has confirmed a triple injury boost ahead of the Premier League clash against Arsenal at Old Trafford on Sunday. The Red Devils have been in a poor run of form since the international break and they have picked up just one victory from their last seven league outings. United suffered an embarrassing 4-0 defeat at the hands of Crystal Palace on Monday and Ten Hag will want a strong response against Mikel Arteta's side. Ahead of the game, Ten Hag has provided some good news on the injury front. Ten Hag said, Rashi, of course, he trained this morning as well, and we have to see how he recovered from this, but I think it looks quite good, and I hope he can tomorrow make the next training, and then see if he is available for Sunday. Yesterday, Lisandro Martinez came to me and wanted to play on Sunday against Arsenal, but he is not ready yet. He needs a little bit more time to go through the process, but he is so desperate. Bruno was on the pitch and Scott McTominay was on the pitch, so there are some players returning. Luke Shaw had a setback in his process as well, but there is still a hope and he will fight to be available for the FA Cup final. Mason Mount has suffered another unfortunate setback. The Englishman has picked up a fresh injury and won't make the matchday squad against Arsenal. Mount has had a tough debut campaign with the Red Devils. Anton Hag has acknowledged that the midfielder has been very unlucky with his injury record. Man United target Denzel Dumfries, available for over 20 million euros. Manchester United have the chance to sign Inter Milan defender Denzel Dumfries for just over 20 million euros this summer, according to Gazzetta dello Sport. The Netherlands international has been linked with the Red Devils for a number of years, and he was initially on their radar during his time with PSV Eindhoven. Gazzetta dello Sport now report that Dumfries' chances of staying at Inter are complex, considering they have failed to agree terms over a renewal, with his current contract expiring in June next year. The hierarchy have made the decision to sell him. He could be available for a little over 20 million euros. Inter look with a great interest at what happens at United, who have been long-term admirers of the Dutch fullback. The Red Devils currently have Diogo Dallo and Aaron Wan-Bissaka as their right-back options, but the latter is likely to head for the exit door this summer. 
United exercised an extension clause on Juan Bissaka's contract earlier this season, but they have yet to open talks over a new deal beyond June 2025. Juan Bissaka has had a difficult campaign shrouded by injuries. His form has not been impressive either. The club could decide to cash in on him. During the next transfer window, the sum recouped could be utilized for the purchase of Dumfries from Inter. The Dutchman would be an upgrade on Juan Bissaka in the final third. He started off his career at right back before becoming a right wing back at Inter. Dumfries' attacking instinct would suit manager Eric Ten Hag's playing style. He has nine goal contributions for the Nerazzurri in the current season. The 28-year-old has shown in the past that he can comfortably operate from right back. He should not have much trouble in adapting to a defensive role again. Manchester United want Atletico Madrid left back Renil Domandava. Manchester United are interested in signing Atletico Madrid left back Renil Domandava during the summer transfer window, according to the Sun. The Red Devils are desperate to bolster their options in the position after losing Tyrell Malasia and Luke Shaw to long term injuries this term. And the Mozambique international has caught their eyes. However, they will face competition from Juventus and Aston Villa for the services of Renildo, and more suitors could join them in the race, as he is said to be available on the cheap this summer. The 30-year-old has just a year remaining on his Atletico Madrid contract and could be available for around £8 million. He has lost his place in the starting 11 of the La Liga club after a cruciate ligament tear in February 2023 that ruled him out until last November with just 15 appearances to his name so far. As a result, a move away could be appealing to him and joining Man United could be tempting. Renildo brings much-needed experience and quality to the table, and he can prove to be a solid addition to the Red Devils' backline, despite being a potential short-term signing. He won the League One title and the French Super Cup with Lille in 2021, before moving to Atletico in the summer of 2022, making the League One team of the year for his defensive heroics, despite ending the campaign with zero goals and assists. While Renildo does not offer much going forward, he makes up for that with his solid defensive abilities, with his tackling and interception, some of his standout skills. He is also hard to beat in one-on-one -on -one situations and holds on to the ball well. Moving to Man United or Villa, would see Renildo make history as he would become the first player from his country to play in the Premier League if that happens, and whether that will materialize in the coming months remains to be seen. Collymore says it's time for Mourinho to return to Man United. A number of names have been speculated as potential replacement for Ten Hag should Sir Jim Ratcliffe decide that his time is up. One man in particular has stunned Collymore's vote. Collymore said the following, I thought Jose Mourinho getting the United job when he did was completely the wrong move. Attack, attack, attack was United's history, but the special one arrived and we saw the dark arts and sometimes target football in an era of progressive coaches like Pep and the club. But now, it's a whole new ball game. Forget Gareth Southgate. I know him well and he won't know what's hit him at United should they go through a bad spell criticism and are in the spotlight on a weekly basis, not every few months when there is an international or tournament on. United need a leader again, someone willing to create an identity and a style of play, even if it's not the most exciting, a style that completes, wins and weeds out the weak and immature. I am increasingly coming round to the fact that one man in world football still has that ability to galvanize and who would relish the challenge, his name, Jose Mourinho. The issue for Man United fans, again, might well be the style of football. It's clear that the first team squad need a stronger hand, and the special one has shown on more than one occasion that he is not frightened of digging out even the biggest stars if he believes addressing down is warranted. 
candles connected with the club in any shape or form except a change of style that isn't necessarily in keeping with the United's way of working and are the club willing to give the Portuguese a second chance? It's certainly not the worst idea in the world and at least the United faithful know exactly what they are getting with Mourinho if he is back in the transfer market too. It could be a marriage made in heaven, even if the football might be hellish at times. Eric Ten Hag gets a green light to sign long-term Man United target. Manchester United have received a major boost in their pursuit of long-term target Frank de Jong. The Barcelona midfielder played under the current Man United manager at Ajax. Since joining Man United, Eric Ten Hag has been looking to bring the Dutch midfielder to Old Trafford, but he has failed in his chase for his former midfielder. The Red Devils could now finally sign their top midfield target this summer. As many as 17 Barcelona players are reportedly on Xavi's transfer list for the next window as he looks to restructure his squad, according to El De Marc, as reported by Vigaches. De Jong, Ten Hag's first primary target at Man United, is one of the players that might depart from the Catalan team. After the billionaire acquired a minority stake in the club earlier this year, Sir Jim Ratcliffe and his NIC group assumed control of the football operations. This summer's transfer window will mark that transition and will be the club's first under the new leadership. Ratcliffe is determined to get it right at his boyhood club after their struggles on and off the pitch. A new CEO and technical director has been installed at the club and a new sporting director might arrive soon in a major overhaul. In terms of transfer target, they have reportedly identified Michael Ollis and Jared Branthwaite, both talented young players who have enjoyed individual success this season. Adding De Jong to the team would be a dream come true for Ten Hag, who managed the Holland International to great success during their time together at Ajax, with Man United looking likely to lose Casimero, Christian Eriksen and Sofiane Amrabat this summer, signing De Jong would be a wise move. The Barcelona midfielder is one of the best players in the world in his position, and his creativity and passing quality is just what the Man United midfield needs. Arsenal, Man United and Liverpool, linked with 60 million euros rated ice with 13 goal attributions this season. RB Leipzig midfielder Danny Olmo has been linked with a move away from the club at the end of the season. The 26-year-old has been a key player for the German club and his performances have attracted the attention of several Premier League clubs. According to a report from the Spanish publication Sport, Arsenal, Chelsea, Manchester United and Liverpool are all keeping tabs on his development. It will be interesting to see if they decide to make a move for him at the end of the season. The Spanish midfielder has 8 goals and 5 assists to his name in all competitions, and he could prove to be a quality acquisition. Arsenal need to add more quality and depth to the squad in the final third, and Olmo would be a superb acquisition. He can slot in as the attacking midfielder as well as a winger. He will add goal and creativity to the side. Similarly, Chelsea and Liverpool need more creativity and technical ability in the final third so that they can create more goal-scoring opportunities. Manchester United have been overly dependent on Bruno Fernandes for creativity and goals, and they could use more support in that department. Christian Eriksen is set to leave the club permanently, and Olmo would be a superb addition. The Spanish midfielder could be tempted to move to the Premier League, and it remains to be where he ends up. All four clubs would represent an excellent opportunity for the player, and he will look to prove himself in English football. He has the physical and technical attributes to do well in the Premier League, and he could be a key player for all four clubs. The midfielder has a 60 million euros release clause in his contract, and the English club certainly have the financial muscle to afford him. It remains to be seen whether they are ready to come forward with an official proposal in the coming weeks. 
As we wrap up today's Manchester United news, remember to stay tuned for daily updates right here on the channel. Don't miss out on the latest updates, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a like if you found this information valuable. Your support means the world to us. Thanks for watching and until next time, peace out. Thank <laughs> you.